Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn subtraction of large numbers with regrouping or the borrowing concept. We know that subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. This is the first topic in subtraction that we will be seeing in class 5. Let us go into the details of this video. First, let us subtract 4,23,518 from 8,27,639. Write down the bigger number on the top and then the smaller number below it. Next, it's always a good practice to write down the place values. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and lakh. Now, begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 8 is 1. 3 minus 1 in the tens place is 2. Next move on to the hundreds place where you have 6 minus 5 which is 1. In the thousands place we have 7 minus 3 which will give you 4. Next move on to the ten thousands place where you have 2 minus 2 which will give you 0. Next in the lakhs place you have 8 minus 4 which will give you 4. So, the subtraction of the two six-digit numbers will give you the answer 4,4,121. If you notice, we did not involve the regrouping or the borrowing concept in this sum. As it is the first sum that we are seeing, I just wanted to give you a quick revision of the subtraction concept. In the upcoming sums, we are going to see regrouping of the tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and the lakhs place. So stay with me till the end of this session. The next sum that we are going to see is subtract 6,47,168 from 7,59,873. Write down the numbers one below the other and next write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. In the ones place we have 3 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 3. So you cannot do the subtraction directly. So next move on to the tens place where you have 7 tens. 7 tens can be regrouped as 6 tens plus 1 ten or 10 ones. So 7 tens is equal to 6 tens plus 10 ones. You retain the 6 tens in the tens place and take that 10 ones to the ones place. In ones place, you already have three ones. Three ones plus ten ones will give you thirteen ones. So now in the ones place, you have thirteen ones and you can do the subtraction of thirteen minus eight. What is thirteen minus eight? Thirteen minus eight is five. Now move on to the tens place. In tens place, you have six minus six, which will give you zero. Next, move on to the hundreds place where you have eight minus one, which is seven. In thousands place it is 9 minus 7 which is 2. In ten thousands place you have 5 minus 4 which is 1. And in the lakhs place you have 7 minus 6 which is 1 again. So the subtraction of the two six digit numbers is going to give you the answer. 1,12,705. Hope you understood how we did the regrouping of the tens place. You must have learned this in your lower classes. Let us do the next sum. Subtract 2,40,589 from 4,73,574. Write down the numbers one below the other and write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place you have 4 minus 9. 9 is greater than 4 so move to the tens place. In the tens place we have 7 tens. 7 tens can be regrouped as 6 tens plus 10 ones. So retain the 6 tens in the tens place and take the 10 ones to the ones place. In ones place we already have 4 ones. 4 ones plus 10 ones will give you 14 ones. So now in the ones place you have 14 ones. You can subtract 14 minus 9 which will give you 5. Next move on to the tens place. Now here we have 6 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 6. So move to the hundreds place. In hundreds place we have five hundreds which can be regrouped as four hundreds plus one hundred or ten tens. 
So, 5 hundreds is equal to 4 hundreds plus 10 tenths. So, retain the 4 hundreds in the hundreds place and take the 10 tenths to the tenths place. So, in the tenths place we already have 6 tenths. 6 tenths plus 10 tenths will give you 16 tenths. So, in the tenths place now you will have 16 tenths. So, 16 minus 8 can be subtracted and the answer will be 8. Now, move on to the hundreds place where we have to subtract 4 minus 5. We know that 5 is greater than 4. We cannot do the subtraction 4 minus 5. So, you have to move to the thousands place where you have 3 thousands. 3 thousands can be regrouped as 2 thousands plus 1 thousand or 10 hundreds. 3 thousands is equal to 2 thousands plus 10 hundreds. Retain the 2 thousands in the thousands place and take the 10 hundreds to the hundreds place. In hundreds place we already have 4 hundreds. So, when you add 4 hundreds plus 10 hundreds, you will get 14 hundreds. So, now in hundreds place you will have 14 hundreds. 14 minus 5 will give you 9. Now, in 10 thousands place you have 2 minus 0 which can be subtracted and you get the answer to be 2. When 0 is subtracted from any number, you get the same number. Next, move on to the 10 thousands place. In 10 thousands place we have 7 minus 4 which can be subtracted and you get the answer to be 3. Next move on to the lakhs place you have 4 minus 2 you get the difference to be 2. So the difference between the two numbers is 2,32,985. In the next sum we are going to see how to regroup the 10 thousands place and the lakhs place. Subtract 4,75,839 from 8,63,427. Write down the numbers one below the other and write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 7 minus 9. We know that 9 is greater than 7. So move to the tens place where you have two tens. Two tens can be regrouped as one ten plus ten ones. So retain the one ten in the tens place and take the ten ones to the ones place. In ones place we already have 7 ones. So 7 ones plus 10 ones will give you 17 ones. So in ones place now we will have 17 ones and now you can subtract 17 minus 9 which will give you the answer 8. Next move on to the tens place where you have to subtract 1 minus 3. Again here 3 is greater than 1. You cannot do the subtraction of 1 minus 3. So you move to the hundreds place where you have 4 hundreds which can be regrouped as 3 hundreds plus 10 tens. So, retain the 3 hundreds in the hundreds place and take the 10 tens to the tens place. In tens place, you already have 1 ten. 1 ten plus 10 tens will give you 11 tens. So, now in tens place, it will be 11 tens. So, now you can subtract 11 minus 3. 11 minus 3 will give you 8. Now, come to the hundreds place where you have 3 minus 8. 8 is greater than 3. So, you have to move to the thousands place and where in thousands place you have three thousands. Three thousands can be regrouped as two thousands plus ten hundreds. Retain the two thousands in the thousands place and take the ten hundreds to the hundreds place. In hundreds place we already have three hundreds. So, three hundreds plus ten hundreds will give you thirteen hundreds. So, now in the hundreds place you will have thirteen hundreds. 13 minus 8 in the hundreds place will give you 5. Next move to the thousands place where you have to subtract 2 minus 5. Here again 5 is greater than 2. So move on to the ten thousands place where you have 6 ten thousands. 6 ten thousands can be regrouped as 5 ten thousands plus 1 ten thousand or 10 thousands. So now you retain the 5 ten thousands in the ten thousands place and take that ten thousands to the thousands place. In thousands place you already have two thousands. So two thousands plus ten thousands will give you twelve thousands. So now in the thousands place you will get twelve thousands. So twelve minus five can be subtracted and you will get the answer to be seven in the thousands place. Now move to the ten thousands place where you have to subtract five minus seven. Here again seven is greater than five so, move to the lakhs place for regrouping the digits in the lakhs place. In lakhs place, you have 
8 lakhs. 8 lakhs can be regrouped as 7 lakhs plus 1 lakh. 1 lakh is nothing but 10, 10 thousands. So, retain the 7 lakhs in the lakhs place and take the 10, 10 thousands to the 10 thousands place. In 10 thousands place, we already have 5, 10 thousands. So, 5, 10 thousands plus 10, 10 thousands is equal to 15, 10 thousands. So, in 10 thousands place, now you will have 15, 10 thousands. So, 15 minus 7 can be subtracted and you will get 8 in the 10 thousands place now. Now, coming to the lakhs place, it is 7 minus 4, which can be subtracted and you get the answer to be 3. So, the difference between the two six digit numbers is 3,87,588. The next sum that we are going to see is subtract 3,23,456 from 8 lakhs. This is an interesting sum because it involves zeros in the bigger number. So, write down the numbers one below the other. And write down the place values. Now begin the subtraction from the ones place. If you notice, from the ones place to the ten thousands place, you have zeros in the bigger number. So you cannot do the subtraction. So move to the lakhs place directly, where you have eight lakhs, which can be regrouped as seven lakhs plus ten ten thousands. So retain the seven lakhs in the lakhs place and take the ten ten thousands to the ten thousands place. Next, ten ten thousands can be regrouped as 9 10 thousands plus 10 thousands. So in the 10 thousands place, it will become 9 10 thousands now and you take that 10 thousands to the thousands place. Next, we'll have to regroup the 10 thousands. 10 thousands is, uh, can be regrouped as 9 thousands plus 10 hundreds. So retain the 9 thousands in the thousands place and take the 10 hundreds to the hundreds place. Now regroup the ten hundreds, which is nothing but nine hundreds plus ten tens. So in the hundreds place, now it will become nine hundreds and ten tens will be moved to the tens place. So in tens place, you have ten tens now, which can be regrouped as nine tens plus ten ones. So now in the tens place, we will have nine tens and the ones place will become ten ones. Now we can do the subtraction. Ten minus six is four. 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 2 is 7 and 7 minus 3 is 4. So the subtraction of the two six digit numbers will give you the answer 4,76,544. We saw the subtraction by regrouping or the borrowing method. I will teach you an easier method now. Now subtract the bigger number by 1 which will give you 7,99,999. Subtract the smaller number also by 1, which will give you 3,23,455. When you subtract these two numbers, now it will be 9 minus 5, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 4. So you get the same answer 4,76,544. What did I do here? I subtracted the bigger number by 1. I wrote the previous number and for the smaller number also, I subtracted it by 1 or I wrote the before number and when you subtract these two numbers, you get the same answer. Let us do another sum to understand this better. Here you have 6 lakhs minus 4,27,535. When you do the subtraction by the borrowing or the Regrouping method, you get the answer to be 1,72,465. Let us see how to do this by the ECA method. Subtract 6 lakh minus 1, which will give you 5,99,999. Subtract 4,27,535 minus 1, which will give you 4,27,534. When you subtract these two numbers, you will get 9 minus 4, 5, 9 minus 3, 6, 9 minus 5, 4. 9 minus 7, 2, 9 minus 2, 7 and 5 minus 4, 1. And you get the same answer, 1,72,465. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class find the topic subtraction of which I have covered subtraction of large numbers with regrouping in this video. The remaining topics will be dealt with in separate videos. Links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. Give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos. 
See you again.